In this video, I'm going to discuss Microsoft Endpoint Manager and Intune training for JSS members. Now, this is important for two reasons. One, we have a lot of members that are looking for a job and when they're learning, let's say about IT support skills and they're taking our modern IT support courses, they're learning specific skills that are needed right now inside uh, companies and MSPs and different type of, uh, you know, um, corporations, they, they need this type of skills from you so they can hire you and then you can go and start working with them quickly. Another reason is that if you are already working in IT and you're seeing that your company is going towards cloud and they're, they're basically aggressively going after solutions such as Microsoft Intune that is now totally moving towards cloud and the companies are pushing their devices, users, and all of their policies towards Intune, you're being forced to learn this type of uh, you know, features and new technologies in a very short time. So our members need to understand that if you're working in technology, you have to also upgrade your skills and enhance your skills to be able to continue your job effectively, less stress, and also move up in this career. So this is the reason of this video is that I'm going to explain why it's important for you to take the Microsoft Endpoint Manager training that we have created uh, in JSS platform. So let's talk about that in more detail. So first, let's look at it from you looking for a job at this point, and you're going to start seeing something like experience using Azure or Intune. And so you're going to see a lot of Intune terms, just like we have been doing this type of trainings forever for past 10 years. Active Directory, you see that, Office 365, uh, troubleshooting, things like that. So Intune is also becoming a major term inside the description where it's going to make you think then you know when you do you don't you don't go after these trainings then you're gonna have that confidence issue where like i should have done that before i applied to this position they called me and now i know they're gonna ask me something related to intune so this is the reason you're gonna come across many it positions and most uh, most of the positions are going to be related to help desk and it support side and less towards more sysadmin like for example you see this is like combination of two titles so this is the reason because intune um can be set up by a systems administrator but once they set it up it's all going to be help desk in future and now it's as i speak we are in hybrid and cloud type of situation but in future things are going to go um, you know, mostly towards cloud and you're going to be responsible for uh, dealing with all these devices and users and policies and things like that. So that's from just getting the job and getting that confidence. You need this type of training. Now, coming to a more uh, practical example where let's say you go to a company and then they are already heavily using Microsoft Office 365, which most of the companies are. And they're moving towards something like they're just going to say, OK, we got this option here. We have the license for it. Let's go for Endpoint Manager. Why do we have to, uh, you know, run a whole SCCM server and that headache of, you know, um, taking care of that server? Let's just move to that. And Microsoft is also trying to push everything towards this. Let's say if, from a job perspective, if your company did move to something like this, they will involve you and you, they may give you a training and things like that. But let's say you landed a job somewhere that are already using uh, Intune. So this would be a very heavily populated area where we're going to have like 100 or 200, or 300 devices, apps, things are going on over here. And immediately you're going to get involved in this. So this is the reason why we tell our members that if you have done our modern IT support training, you already know some of the modern technologies like Office 365. And you got the idea of how we are moving towards certain features and now intune is also becoming uh, one of the top used uh, features inside microsoft office 365 but this training cannot be taken uh, all together from like you know as a beginner because it's too much then so this is why it's a separate course which i'm going to now show you step by step how you should start this course how we have designed it and 
what should be the mindset when you are uh, finishing this course. To start this course, log in with your Lite or Premium Membership and click on My Courses. And in My Courses, you can scroll down and find Microsoft Endpoint Manager and Intune Training. You can also search for it in the search courses and go ahead and start the course. This is going to be a very detailed and lengthy course about Intune. So as you can see, we have developed almost 32 tasks, which is about six hours. And this is almost half done yet. And we got a lot of other things going on in this as well. So my recommendation is that when you're starting this course, start with the introduction lectures first to understand what is Intune and why we call it Intune, why we call it Endpoint Manager. There are differences and things like that will make a lot sense when you go uh, through the lectures. In this course, if you want to do a hands-on practice, you have to follow instructor and the guidance on how to get the trial access from Microsoft. JSS does not provide Intune subscriptions or access to such features. You will have to get your own uh, trial access or you can uh, go with pay as you go model. Now, um, we do have some labs that are associated with MD102 in practice labs. But again, even in that labs, you still need your own subscription. You can use their operating systems for practice purpose, but you don't want to get yourself confused. I will say don't do two together. Uh, if you are doing this course, then stick with your own Microsoft trial version and follow the instructor step by step. And you're going to be easily finishing this course with many, many hours of practice, everything with your own trial version that you get from Microsoft, or you can go with the pay as you go model. If you still think that MD102 is useful, you can also go to that practice lab, which is available, but take that as a separate course. We're not combining these two together uh, and not confusing our members at this point, because we think our course is very detailed and a sequence based course, uh, rather than just, you know, um, doing some basic labs. Lastly, uh, create the mindset of finishing this course step by step. Don't skip any uh, task. Don't jump to, let's say, from four to seven or 11. It's not going to, um, you know, be useful because you're going to miss a lot of setup. And in that case, you're going to have issues. So this is why I would recommend create the mind of going in a sequence. Even if it takes you time, you have to do it the correct way. And once you finish this full course, then go ahead and uh, go to Microsoft documentation and try to learn more from documentation. We cannot keep up with Intune documentation um, at this moment. They are updating it very fast. It's a cloud-based feature. So after a few months, you're going to see differences. So we're not going to be able to update those videos uh, in time. So for you to become a proper IT professional, that's something you need to understand that um, as an IT professional, you need to rely on documentation, not just on our videos. So my recommendation is definitely find the right documentation which instructor is using. They will show you in this course as well. And then try to finish it and then go ahead and try to implement all of these skills at your work.